Hello, I'm Mike, nostressmike.com. Uh, now today I want to talk about something a little different. And uh, what it's going to be is uh, on grumpy old men. Uh, I've always heard about them. I never dreamed the day would come that I would be one of these grumpy old men. So this is going to be uh, the first of a series of grumpy old man uh, videos. Now, this first one, I want to explain a little bit on what it takes to become a grumpy old man. I've worked hard all my whole life. Uh, most of the time, I've owned my own businesses. Uh, and so I'm willing to work hard. I'm willing to take risks. And uh, when I do good, I, I profit. I do really good. When I don't do so good, you know, I, I, I pay the price. I, I lose, lose money on there. Sometimes you lose face, uh, depending on what it is. Uh, I've been in, I've got myself into uh, bad situations before, most of which uh, I didn't really do anything wrong. Uh, what it is, I just would not go along with the rules quite right. And uh, it hasn't stopped yet. Uh, even now, in my 60s, I still have that problem. Um, I say uh, I went through uh, an episode with uh, 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 was Medicare, Medicaid, you know, uh, whatever that kind of stuff is, or uh, whatever, because of health issues. And uh, at that time, I was uh, really hurting really bad. Uh, the only way they would give me any assistance is if I, um, uh, how do I say? gave up my dignity and uh, go on my hands and knees and admit uh, there's bad times. And uh, so I chose not to. Uh, and even now, I still uh, refuse to take uh, Social Security. Uh, I don't want nothing, nothing from the government at all. And as that, I looked around and I could see uh, that is the root of all of our problems. And that's People will not take responsibility over themselves. It gets a little bit difficult and then they buckle under. In other words, in general, uh, the public uh, has kind of lost the, the desire to stand up, uh, the desire to put up a fight. It seems like uh, everything has just gone downhill. And uh, they just, Nobody wants to take responsibility. Uh, 911, uh, let somebody else take care of it. Uh, 911, uh, I don't want to get involved. Uh, 911, uh, these people might have done something wrong, so we'll let you make that decision, the government, uh, because I'm, I don't have the balls to stand up for when I see a wrong is being done and uh, stop it. And that's what our whole society has come down to. Uh, just a bunch of wimps. And uh, it got so bad, they don't even take care of themselves. This is what makes it worse than anything at all. And uh, for me, as a grumpy old man, uh, I don't understand it. And nobody can explain to me where it makes any kind of sense. Now, I remember when I was a young man, like a teenager, I would do uh, dumb things, and uh, some old grumpy old man would, would whack me upside the back of the head. He'd say, boy, don't be stupid. You know, and no big deal. I just corrected myself. Because if I knew I didn't, some another grumpy old man would whack me upside the head. So uh, even our grumpy old men, they've even become kind of kind of, maybe they're all doped up and they don't even keep up with what's going on. Uh, they've let us down. The grumpy old men have let us down. Uh, now we've got uh, our youth is in such bad shape. It's just unbelievable that we've allowed this to happen uh, to the point where, you know, the youth can't even make change. Uh, the young adults can't even uh, balance checkbook properly. 
uh, we've allowed um, uh, our public officials to, to become corrupt, uh, dishonest. I mean, these guys are bad. And we've allowed this to happen. We've allowed it by voting for the one, well, he's not quite as bad as the other one. So we'll take that one. I mean, since, where did we get lost on this? Why aren't we taking the good one? We're taking the, the, the one that's not as bad as the other one. What happened to our great, good leaders? People that would stand up for what's right and shun whatever is wrong. We don't have this anymore. And like I say, the, the government, they're, they're raising our kids now. They're, they're telling us what is best for our kids. And we're so damn stupid that we allow this to happen. Okay, you have to have a, a, a child seat in your car. What do you need a child seat for? That's how I corrected my kids. They start fighting, I tell them to calm down, settle down, they don't. Slam on the brakes, bam, I'll hit the back of the seat. Hey, they've calmed down. So, there's ways of uh, taking responsibility for yourself. We don't need the government to tell you to put on your seat belt. What kind of idiot are you? You need a law? You need the government to tell you that? And then now there are you know, no trans fats, and uh, pretty soon you know, they're going to start telling you what you can eat, what you can't eat. They're going to tell you how fat you can be, how skinny you can be. They're going to tell you what your blood pressure is supposed to be. They're going to tell you how much cholesterol you're supposed to have. They do that. They do it already. If they do it in the, the health care system. You know, they have no idea. All they do is go by the numbers. They don't know nothing. And they will tell you, because your numbers are wrong, that that means you must be wrong. You need to take this medicine. And like an idiot, you blindly follow. You just take that medicine just like they tell you. I mean, what happened to personal responsibility? I mean, for me, personally, I don't give a damn if you die because of your bad habits. Now, it's another story. When your bad habits are going to start affecting me, that's another story. And I'll tell you, the government-run, uh, insurance-run health care is like that. They act as if they know what's best for you. My experience has been they want you sick. This is how they make money is on sick people. There's nothing to motivate them to help you get well. Nothing at all. I mean, hey, be a damn cripple. We'll give you that little sticker thing, and then you can park up close to the door. Huh? I mean, we don't want you to get too much exercise. I mean, what kind of idiots are running our uh, health care system? And what kind of idiots listen to them? You know, there's something wrong here somewhere. When is it the people are going to wake up to this mess? It's all back-ass backwards. I mean, when you see something wrong and you're continually doing whatever it is that's wrong because somebody told you, you are part of the problem. You need to stand up when something is wrong. You need to act like a man when something is wrong and ask questions. Why? Why are you doing this? Why do we have to do this? Why do you feel like you need to tell us this? These are all questions you should ask. You shouldn't just blindly follow. I mean, you're just like a bunch of cattle. And I've always said, the majority of the time, the majority is wrong. This is something I've always believed in, and I've seen it all my life. Here, you have, the, the middle-aged ones, they're looking for a job. What are they looking for a job for? Create your own job. Oh, I understand. You're too damn stupid to know how to figure out your own job. When times were good, when you were in your 20s and 30s, instead of learning things, you just took your paycheck and went out and blew it. Instead of learning something. I mean, you thought this paycheck was going to keep on coming. And now when you're unemployed, you got your damn hand out. I mean, you're part of the reason this country's gone to hell. 
And what kind of people were you voting on at the time? I mean, people, when they got a job, they're doing good, they don't give a damn who's running the place. You know, I mean, I don't know where they're coming from on this stuff. These are the people that make the rules, they appoint weird people in the positions that we've got to deal with for the rest of their lives. You know what I mean? And all they want to do is create problems for us when we try to make a living with, for ourselves. Stand up for yourself. Create your own job. Do something. If you're in your 20s, get different jobs. Learn things. Create skills. These skills you'll be able to use for the rest of your life. Unlike those, what, 40 and 50 year olds I just got done talking about. They, are, they, they can't create no, no job for themselves, but they have no skills. They've been so damn busy doing what they were told, they haven't been able to learn anything. So you 20 year olds, you teenagers, learn things, do things. Don't be stupid. Just because your peers are stupid, you don't have to be stupid. It's time for you to find some new peers. Find people that, that cherish and have interest in life as much as you do. People that want to do something with their life. These are the kind of people that you should have for your peers. You can help each other, help each other grow, help each other get smarter, learn things. Have those kind of peers. Your family members. You need to back up your family members. You know, one thing I've learned too is I've created jobs for other people. I've taught skills to other people. But before I could do that, I had to learn these skills, these jobs myself. And the hardest people to convince that I know something was my own family. My own family didn't even have the confidence in me to do the, the stuff that I was doing. I say I went into the oil, oil business. You know, I mean, I've had different restaurants. I've done all kinds of stuff uh, without the support of my family. They thought I was an idiot for doing stuff like that. So you need to have faith in your family. You need to back them up. This is why we have family. This is why we have friends. I've had real good backing of my friends. I mean, there's Vincent, Bill, Dave, uh, Terry. I mean, a whole bunch of them have given me the backing that I needed to continue on, even when bad things have happened to me. And I don't let a bad thing happen and then lay down and cry and bellyache about it. I move on. Do something, try to stay creative, try to come up with new ideas, do things. Why? Because I haven't sold my soul to the government or anybody else. I mean, they, the, they would promise you security, financial, you know, with the social security. They, they promise you uh, uh, security and health. So then when you listen to this bullshit, you don't save no money and then you eat nasty stuff that's going to make you unhealthy. You live an unhealthy lifestyle. And then you turn around with your hand out looking for more government droppings. Wake up, America. Wake up. I'm going to be making a series of these grumpy old man videos. I'm going to cover all kinds of stuff. And if you've got a request wanting to know what my opinion is on a certain subject, just make it on the comment down below. And uh, I'll make a video uh, letting you know what I think about that subject. I, I'll tell you, I've lived a full life. I've done a lot of stuff. Can't say I'm proud of everything that I've done, but it's stuff that I have done. The only responsibility comes back to me, good and bad. And I will share my knowledge and experience.